coming, bienvenue, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic with Light. And I'm flying around in a biplane, kind of. Oh, and I hit the wall. So, it's not the best plane. It's still a bit of a prototype, but it's got a little bit of control. It's got a little ability to fly and a great ability to crash. <laughs> but that's what you'd expect from a prototype plane. It can generally flip itself back over and at least attempt to fly again. Let's try to do that once more. And there we go. Its turning is not great. Its ability to get back into the sky, it has a little trouble now and then. So let's... Uh, get ourselves right side up again and move somewhere that we might be able to launch a little better. Now this is not going to be a tutorial, it's just a spot spotlight and it really is just a prototype vehicle. It's not ready for mass consumption like my uh, manual transmission sports car was. This I just wanted to get it out there to show an idea for a plane that isn't a VTOL. I mean vertical takeoff and landing is really common in this game because you can just point thrusters downward and fly straight up into the sky. This I wanted to make a relatively real is kind of realistic plane where you actually do just get the forward thrust and then you have to do something with it. Um, whoa, it's hard to fly. Um, so it's, it's controlled using W, A, S, and D. It can control the pitch and the roll, but you cannot control the yaw because in a normal plane, you can't control the yaw. Well, you kind of can. I might add that later because with the tail, um, you might be able to control um, a bit of the yaw as well. Whoa, don't want to crash. Oh, I crashed into the wall. Turning around is sometimes a bit difficult. I still don't have a good feel for um, rotating using the ooh, using the roll to turn back around. And this is what I also wanted to show you: this clip glitch, where one of the wheels gets stuck in the ground. This happens all the time with this plane, and I don't know if it's a common thing to happen with everybody's creations, but, I mean, that's just unacceptable. Having part of a creation clip into the ground and then having it be completely inextricable, that, that's just an unacceptable fault of physics. So let's try this once more, try to get up into the sky. Oh, that was no good. And we clip glitched into the ground again. So no matter how much thrust I get, I'm stuck in the ground forever. That's just no good. Uh, this happens particularly when trying to turn using the roll function, because you can just drive this thing around on the ground if you like. Um, but if you try to turn too sharply, you'll clip, clip glitch right into the ground, usually with one of your front wheels. Uh, so let's try to get into the air. And there we go. Uh, the thrusters on this plane can rotate a tiny bit to facilitate takeoff. Um, because we don't have any actual lift, you have to simulate it with the thrusters. So when you're going relatively level like this, you point them a little towards the ground so you stay in the sky. Uh, when you're trying to gain altitude, uh, you can switch it over to uh, directly behind you well, let's try to just flip. Whoa. Oh, this is bad. Whoop, into the ground. Pow. And now I think we might have clip glitched our wings into the ground, which is even worse. But this is just a quick little spotlight. It's a biplane. It's a uh, propeller. Uh, does some gyroscopic type motion. It's got thrusters inside and on the wings. The ones inside you can just barely tell are there. The ones on the outside, I just needed a little bit more thrust than I was getting previously. Oh, we might be 
able to clip ourselves back. Oh, we can't clip ourselves out of the ground. This right hand side here just isn't going to cut it. Um, so prototype plane, the insides, which we might actually be able to take a look at. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're loose. Was not expecting to come loose. Uh, so now if we turn those off, we should be able to pitch ourselves back onto our face. And back over top. Good. Uh, so inside, let's zoom in a little bit. We've got suspension glitches for doing the pitch and roll. So if you haven't seen the suspension glitch, you try to push with a suspension in a direction it can't go uh, while attached to that same object. So the chassis, like the fuselage, is attached to the suspension, and then the suspension is clip, uh, attached to a block, which pushes into that same fuselage, which leads to phantom torque. And so you can torque the fuselage in whatever directions you want using the suspensions, so you just attach it to the seat, and you're good to go. I've got all sorts of thrusters on the inside. I put them inside because I want it to look as much like a plane as possible. Um, it's a little bit too small for there to be no uh, exhaust on the outside, so you can still see some of the thrust on the outside. Um, we're probably not going to be able to... Yeah, we're not going to be able to turn around from here. So we can just pick it up and move it on over. It's still really rough around the edges. It's very difficult to make it move exactly like a plane would. It needs some balancing because when you're trying to fly level, it pulls up a bit. Um, and I had forgotten that you do normally have the ability to control back here, so you should be able to do um, the yaw manually. So we could probably add another suspension glitch to this to be able to do the yaw such that you can really seriously control the plane. So let's give it one more try, see if we can get ourselves up into the air. Oh, that was bad. So if we get here, we could probably... All right, clip glitch. Always with the clip glitch. So if we add roll or yaw to it, we'll have control over the pitch, the roll, and the yaw. With the three degrees of freedom, you should be able to fly this thing with no trouble. You'll be able to turn it back around. And it'll be a generally functional plane. From there, it would just be a matter of balancing it, such that when doing each of the different types of rotation, it has the correct... Uh, axis for the rotation. Wah. Yeah, like here, turning around shouldn't be nearly as difficult as it's been. And then we clip glitch our propeller into the ground. So as you can see, it's very easy to have this clip glitch happen. And it shouldn't. It should never happen. You should have this be a collision and have it go back the other way. <sighs> Such a sad thing. And another thing that would be really, really helpful is being able to rotate your creation. If you hit Q, it doesn't rotate your creation like it does everything else. So anywhere that you are, it's always going to be facing the same way. I don't want to be lifting off towards the wall. I want to be lifting off away from the wall. Alas, that's how these things go. So let's try it one last time. We'll put this down. We'll hop on in, and we will give it a try. Okay, so pull up, and we clip into the ground. Ah, oh, what a world. But that is my prototype biplane. We're going to try. I know I said one more time. Let's try it again. We should be able to get this thing turned around. I haven't been flying it very long. I don't have a pilot's license. I don't know all the uh, physics of how to make a plane do exactly what I want. Um, 
But if I add the... Uh, if I add the yaw to it... Oh, did it clip in again? Uh, this is another problem that I have with this particular design. Um, is that if I am upside down, it ejects me into the plane. Instead of it being relatively above the seat, it is absolutely up in the world, which is not appropriate in a lot of circumstances when you might end up upside down. But this is a prototype plane. It could use a lot of improvements. If you have anything in particular that would make it really awesome besides more thrust and adding the yaw, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I'm probably not going to do too much more on this guy because they'll probably add real flight mechanics at some point. So I will see you in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic with Light. <laughs>